Okay, for those of you that have been a part of my life, and the life of my mom and dad, come on Prissy here at Lake Texoma, have gone up and down this hill a few times and I just wanted to quickly show you how high the water is. I've, of course, been here at Lake Texoma my whole life, going up and down this hill at least since I was, I don't know, 11, 10 or 11 years old. And uh, you know how far you have to go down this hill in order to get to the water. And I just wanted to quickly show you just how high the water is. Here's the water level right here. You can see that you can't go any further than this right here. And if you look down that way, Going right up there is where the road is. Back out that way is where the old, the boathouse is. Later on, I'm going to try to make a trip through the woods and see if I can find the boathouse. But anyway, there it is. Here's the road, the hill. Never seen the water like this before. Okay, well, I couldn't. I tried to bushwhack up through there. And I did get all the way around to where the boathouse is. However, it I just couldn't see anything. There was too many trees and brush growth between me and the boathouse. So it was just really impossible to see exactly what was going on. So I've decided I'm going to do my redneck kayak. Uh, I'm gonna do a redneck kayak trip out to the boathouse here in this little uh, pull behind inner tube, pull behind the boat. So uh, hopefully I don't drown. I've got this thing here to put the phone in while I'm go while I'm paddling. Hopefully I won't go overboard. But that'll be tied to the boat, and uh, I've got a couple of paddles there to try out. And uh, just so you know, I have my life jacket on here, and I also have a flotation device in the bottom with my gear. And just to show you a couple of pieces of junk that have floated up here, here's a big piece of. Uh, styrofoam that no doubt was under a boathouse at one time and right over there is a football somebody's football there's just junk everywhere so if i find something cool i'll point it out along the way okay i am out in the middle of the cove here as you can see i don't even remember that boathouse being like that i think it must have been uh, it must have gotten twisted around but you can see Right back over there underneath that tree is where the road goes. See, there's where I started off. I don't want to flip over the back, man. And it goes right up under those trees. So I'm going to paddle over around right over in between that boathouse and that tree and then come around back behind because that is twisted up over there. I want to see how damaged it is. So. Okay, I'm sure that this is where the water moccasins here would just love to hang out. Right, you know, I don't want to drift into any of this. I tell you that right now. It's pretty freaking nasty, man. But this is it's pretty freaking cool to think that I guess the road is right back over there somewhere, or where it was. But so I'm coming around here. I'm just seeing this for the first time myself too. Don't want to drop my phone. But you can see this boathouse here. Check this out, man. Wow. See, this is the boathouse, and here's the. Uh, walkway which is just the water's kicked it up it's chained at least it won't i guess i need to move here but i guess it won't uh, uh fall off into the water but man that's, that's pretty wicked so okay okay here is my first real good view of the boat dock and uh really and truly the uh, engineering there of Tom Lewis putting those big, very tall, those tall, tall, super tall pencils on there. As you can see, it has not gone over yet. The uh, one on the left front here has only got a couple of feet, as you can see, but we'll look at it. But really, this boathouse, his boathouse, looks better and pretty much anybody's around here. So uh, let me just do a little spin around here and you can kind of see how everything looks. It's a neat thing about this little bitty inner tube here. You can 
just kind of spin her around and do whatever the heck you want. So you can see, man. Oh, there's some ducks. I don't know if you can see if there's some ducks on the, uh, looks like some wild ducks. Oh, obviously wild. Some ducks on our boathouse over there. You see it right on the other side of, let's see if I can get close to them. Oh, they, they, they know I'm here. Oh, there they go. They flew off. They flew off. They flowed off. Wow. Oh, oh crap, there's something on me. Ooh, big old daddy long legs. Scared the pajeezies out of me. All right, so check this Check this uh, line out here, this uh, power line. Of course, there's no, hasn't been power down here in a while, but that's why they did that. One of the reasons they did that was because, look at this, I'm gonna be going right over where that walkway used to be. Wow, amazing. You can see that ours is a little sunk here on the front end. I wonder, that might be our walkway. I don't know, maybe pulling it down. But anyway, it looks like though, it's gonna be in pretty decent shape. So I'm gonna park this here and I'm gonna get up on the boat dock and look around. Okay, so I'm on the boat dock now, and uh, it looks to be in pretty good shape, I would say. You can look at, you know, we used to laugh at Dad for, gosh, the, oh, the, oh, I'm walking on duck crap. I was talking about those cute ducks. That's duck crap all over. They're roosting here because nobody comes down here. Nasty. So... Man, spider webs. We always used to laugh at them and how tall these pencils were. But look, even with all this rain, looking at the other side, there's no way. I shouldn't say no way, but it has a long way before it's going to go over. And yet some people have lost their boathouses. Everybody around here, you can see this guy over here. His uh, sea dews over there are going to be sunk pretty soon if he doesn't do something about them. This guy has to have his tide. His is tied to the shore. I don't know if you can see that from the other side. And so really, it's in pretty good shape. I'm going to get on the other side and look at that in a minute. A couple of more quick things. You can see this pencil here. I'm on the other side of the door now. This pencil here is has a long way before it's going to go over the only one we have to worry about is this one right here um that's got about a foot and a half and boy they have a lot i'm sure they have a lot of pressure on them being this being the water being this deep but anyway i'm standing out here i don't know if you can tell the way this is swaying it's kind of interesting so Awesome, man. Check this out. Wow. See, this used to be... See, the road... Man, I mean, the road was right there. Literally right there. Ran underneath those trees. Here's a pole here. Here's the electric pole. I can almost, if I stepped out on the end of this, I could actually reach out and grab it. Even though I have been told over and over that it's not alive, I would never do such a thing, no. But I could grab a hold of it and I could scale all the way across, huh? That was that crazy. But yeah, looking back here, ooh, that water's not that cold, really. It's cold, but it's not that cold. So there we go. Here's a look at that boathouse. Again, way back off up in there. It's crazy, man. Okay, I'm going to push back off here, whatever they call them. These kinds of terms, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to paddle back over by this boat and see what I can see. If I'm feeling ambitious, I might cross the slough over there and go over to that multi-story, multiplex over there. See how it's looking just for the heck of it, so we'll see what happens.
And okay, so I have cast off. I kind of feel like, oh, well, what's his face there? As he was leaving in castaways, he was having to leave the safety of his island behind. I'm actually drifting over this way, so I better get on here. But I'm feeling confident now because I have my Coke in hand here. So I'm feeling confident about everything. So I'm just going to cruise around here. I'm almost out of battery, though, so. Okay, I'm out here on the outer edge here. As you can see, he's got ropes to keep his from floating away because, look, look right there, that's where his pencils are, or were. He only has one pencil left. Well, I've, I've drifted, but if you look, well, forget it, but his pencils are gone, all except for this one right here. And uh, lucky for him, Look at his uh, walkway here. That's in sad shape. Uh, no telling what it's going to look like when it comes back up. I'm about as far out here as I want to be because it's getting pretty rough. I'm actually getting kind of seasick, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, I thought I spilled my coat. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. I don't know if I want to go over there or not. That's a long darn way over there. And it's pretty rough. We'll see. Okay, folks, so here we are. This is crazy, man. I paddled all the way over to the other side to this big old boat dock. I hope that's coming in clear. And uh, it's pretty darn windy out here. Let's see. I don't know if you can tell how much I'm being bounced around. I'm taking on a little bit of water, too. I'm starting to get it in my feet. So I don't want to take on water. I'm feeling pretty bold here. I'm gonna take me a couple of swigs off of my hard, hard Coca-Cola, and then I'm gonna move right along. There's a sailboat over there. I'm just kind of sitting out here. I just want to give you one last look because my battery is almost gone. Dad's dock rules. It withstood the test of time. And the dock that he and Uncle Buster built over on the other end, the back around the corner over there is still there, man. That has been there literally my whole life. Okay, folks, there is a snake. I'm sure you're not going to be able to see him on the video from where you are. Because he's way, way over there. But he's swimming around. I don't know if he doesn't see me or if he is toying with me. But I'm just going to see. Hopefully the battery won't go dead. I'll smack him upside the head with this thing right here. The only thing is, he can go underwater and I can't see him. So, there he is, there he is. There he is, can you see him on the camera? Oh my God, he's huge too. He's coming up. I wasn't trying to flee from the snake, I was trying to flee from the bullets because I couldn't see where they were shooting, man. Of course, I guess I'd have seen splashing. A little paranoid, I guess. Man, that snake was big. He was huge, man. I think he's sitting right over there still with his little peepers up. There's no telling, man. You gotta watch out. Ugh. Wow, that was awesome. So here I am coming up to the road. This is a more fitting way to end the whole thing. See you after a while.